Hey guys, over here I have VFO A139 dashcam, it's a 3 channel dashcam which I'm going to review shortly but today I'm going to show you how to perform the firmware update so it's a, a fresh device right now and there's a first firmware update released a few weeks ago and I'm going to show you how to, um, how to perform it first you want to disconnect the power cable from the camera wait for it to turn off now we are going to remove the sd card from the camera it's over here um, you can uh, of course do it differently you can disconnect all the cables and take the camera with the sd card with you and right now we are going to place an update file on the SD card so we are going to use a card reader to do this but if you take the whole camera assembly with the uh, card in it and, and to your computer and connect using USB-C uh, cable this camera will work as a um, SD card reader so whichever is easiest for you maybe we want to take your um, uh, notebook to your car and just connect the USB cable to your um, to your laptop to your notebook and and uh, copy the file over to the camera this way so here's my card reader you can of course use your own you don't need to use the dedicated VFO one it's a standard connect to connect to your computer wait a few seconds for it to appear and then we are going to copy the file that we get from the vfo.com uh, website uh, over here in the um, uh, uh, in the support uh, section firmware you can find the VFO A139 firmware file that you need to download and once it's downloaded we are going to just copy it over to the SD card okay so that's my download uh, downloads folder with the uh, new firmware file and on the right side we have the root directory of the SD card so right now let's drag and drop this from the left to the right few seconds and we can we can now go with the cart back to the car so i'm back over here let's place the cart let's uh, make sure that the ignition is on just so we will not interrupt the um, uh, update procedure and now oh maybe let's turn off the fan and now let's check what will happen over here. We have the red button flashing. Now it's solid red. Now it's flashing again. We have the ignition, the power on sound. channel started and it looks like the device just updated itself and it's working as always so right now you can confirm that it was actually updated you can use the vfo mobile app let's do this in fact let's press and hold the wi-fi button wi-fi enabled and now from the phone let's connect to that wi-fi network and check the firmware version okay so we have the live view from the camera let's stop the recording We'll have this beep notification that will constantly remind us that we are not recording actually at this moment. And right now we are in settings. You can review all your settings if uh, if they weren't reset by um, by the firmware update. So check if all of those is set correctly and um, adjust and in the description below this video my god this beep is killing me in the description below this video you will find um, you will find some more information about this update as well as the download link and i will try to find a change log for the uh, firmware 1.1 uh, update so you know uh, what should be improved in this version and what to check okay thank you for watching give me a thumbs up if you like this tutorial and see you soon